everyone i hope you are doing well in this video we will learn about how to create web dev shells in freena in order to create web dev sh uh, shares on freenas you need to follow the two steps so first is we need to create the web dev shares uh, in which we will be specifying the pool or the data set that can be accessed in that share like we have done in uh, creating unix and uh, apple shares and the secondly we have to separately go to services to configure the web tab uh, over there we have to specify the authentication type port number and authentication password the reason for doing this is that uh, because web dev share can be accessed uh, in a browser by using an url okay and uh, in that we have to uh, provide authentication so that only the person who is having the password should be able to access that share so the share can be accessed in the url format which will be protocol it can be http or https that we will select while configuring the web tab in the services tab then we have to mention the ip address of the host port number uh, this also uh, we will get to know from the services and then we have the share name name of the share of web dev share right so we will access the link and then we will get the authentication where we will be entering the username and password and then we can see the contents of the share so web dev share uh, allows only the authenticated users to browse the contents uh, whatever uh, pool or data set is in that share right so let's get started and implement one here we have to go to so, uh, sharing in that we have web dev shares so i'm going to add one the share name will be And I'm going to specify a path. Here I have this pool. I'm using this pool and data set and save. So first step is done. Now we have to go to services. Over there we have to turn web dev services on. So this is on. So let's configure this. So here the protocol you can select either HTTP or HTTPS. The port is 8080. Authentication we are using is basic. Here we can write any password. And save. services have also been uh, configured now let's access this on the browser so according to the format so this is protocol which is http then colon then backslash and then here we have to mention the ip address of the machine so which is 192 dot one six eight dot one eight two dot one two eight and then port number which is eighty eighty and then we have to mention name of the share so it's asking us for the username and password so username is suppose web dev and the password and here the login is successful and this is the directories that we can access in that share so i hope this helped you so much and if you have any doubt you can post it out in the comment section below thank you so much for watching